Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Brandon Johnson. Today I'm going to show you the 2012 Triton 22 Escape Fishing Speed. check out. We're going to look at the exterior, finish up on the interior, and that'll be it. So do me a favor. If you're interested in this bad boy, if you call here, please ask for me. Let's get started right now. But first, I'd like to introduce our channel. I've been passionately selling boats for over 19 years. The purpose of this channel is to help you and your family enjoy boats and boating just as much as my family and I enjoy it. So thanks to the help of my staff here at Harlan Marine and my sons, we've been able to successfully upload hundreds of boat reviews, instructional operation, help, and how-to videos. I don't ask for anything in return, except for the opportunity to possibly help you find a boat in your time frame. So to stay up on everything Anybody we upload, click it. that subscribe button below and stay tuned. Nice. Wow. This is a nice boat. This beautiful Triton 220 Escape fishing ski. Take a look at the motor. We got the prop right here. Stainless steel. Skag's in great shape. Cavitation plate shows nowhere. There's a 250 Optimax direct injected, fuel injected Pro XS, which means it's awesome. It has a jack plate, appears to be a manual jack plate. The prop is a 23 pitch Merc something or other. Oh, Fury, look how cool that is. It's got to be awesome when you put that in there. Gel coat's in beautiful condition. Comes with the matching custom trailer made for it. Just kind of going methodically slow. The rubber rail's in great shape too. On this side, I haven't been to the other side yet, so let's not get too excited here. I don't see any nicks, scrapes, scuffs, or scratches. It does have a keel guard, but the keel's in great shape. It doesn't look like the keel guard was ever used to run of shore or something. The trailer is coated. It's got disc brakes and buddy bearings. Oh, they're vault. That's not true. Vault axle, so it's the oil sealed hubs, which is awesome. Got a step here, spare. Okay, nothing on the starboard side, so I didn't let you down. Everything looks great. I love these colors. You know I'm a Chiefs fan, and this boat screams Raiders. Still love it. Does have the ladder built in the back. Now let's jump inside and take a look at that awesome interior. Hey, Dad, that's a cool whip. I thought I'd go ahead and show you the ladder. Now we'll climb aboard. So it does have the bimini top. What I hate about a lot of fishing boats that we get in here is people upgrade the trolling motors, fish finders, etc., or they just keep what's in there from the factory. And then when they trade it or sell it, they keep all the stuff. And then I got a fishing boat with no fishing stuff in it. This thing's not missing anything that I'm aware of. Got a battery charger, there's our tank. Got a battery switch, that's our starting battery. This boat also has hydraulic steering, which is a great feature. As you can see, all the vinyl's in great shape. Those logos like to come off, and this one so far isn't missing any, so that's a good sign. Oh, well, you gotta turn it before you open it. Back to not miss anything. We have our navigation light, our seat poles, our anchor light, our bimini extension arms, and our ski tow bar, if I didn't say that already. The seat's in my way. Sorry guys, sorry, I'm trying to be professional here. So this is for tackle, looks like. I'm gonna shut this off, move this seat, and look underneath. Now we'll see what's underneath these. That is a live well with a light in it. Oh, it's big. It goes way the heck over there into here. Look at that. Nice back seat. Logo's not missing. I wonder if this does anything. Oh, it's where this big freaking cooler goes. And it's not missing a cooler. I always say people that take good care of stuff takes care of all the stuff. And this isn't missing any stuff. I think I already said that. Uh, storage underneath these seats. It's hard to do with one hand. Got cup holders, storage in the gunnels, nice captain seats. Got a stereo in it. My grandpa always said, 
You can use a stereo for an anchor when he's fishing, but it's fishing ski, Grandpa, so you can do either or. Little glove box. Take a look at the floor here. Great storage for skis. I and mean, you could put fishing poles in there too, but great storage. Looking at the helm, steering wheel's in great shape, rocker switches, dash panels, gauges. It's got a Larange HDS5 in there, so you know it's good. Both captain seats are beautiful and not missing the logos. Walk through windshield. Sorry, I forgot y'all dizzy. This opens up, we have a battery charger for the trolling motor. Let's see. That is an awesome rod storage box. I like how it goes side to side up here and then you can still put stuff in the middle. Okay, it has an additional butt seat for fishing at the bow. We have a Minn Kota 4TET Trex. Say that four times fast. 112 pound thrust, 36 volt trolling motor. Okay. More storage up here. So it looks like the batteries were in there in there too for the trolling motor. You also put your rods here, those things clip around them somehow. Oh, not sure what that is. Structure, scan, sonar. Hmm, must have something to do with fish finder thing. And we got a, some more electronics up here. I'll go check and see what else this comes with. Anything that's not bolted on or built in, we take out. So let me go look and I'll come right back to you. Well, sorry for the mess. I haven't found anything yet. I'm in the process of looking to see if there's anything for the front. There may, there may not be. But anyways, thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you on the water. Models, popping bottles. Hey!